Saluton. Didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. Continuing this edition of Ask That Guy with the Glasses, I'm answering all questions related to December holidays. So, let us start oh, with our first question. Shit! This is a nice house, man. Why, Sage? I thought I killed you. Uh, I got better. How did you get in here? Broke in. By the way, you need a new window. Well, uh, seeing how you're here, would you like to answer some of the questions? I think I got a few answers. Now, I have to warn you, some of the answers on here can be a little, um, shocking and brisque. Are you sure you're up to it? I think I can handle it. All right, then. Let's start with our first question. Why is it that on Christmas we put up trees in the living room? Aren't trees for outside? Yes, they are. And you know what else is good for outside? Illegal immigrants. Now I know what you're thinking. You're a horrible person. Yes. And I know what else you're thinking. What does that have to do with Christmas trees? Well, while you keep the trees outside, you can always use the illegal immigrants to trim them and keep them nice. Unlike them. Because they're filthy, godless mud people. And that's all they'll ever be. So, are you handling this okay? Yeah, I'm pretty good. That, that didn't disturb you a little? No. Well then, why don't you answer the next question? I'll give it a shot. Okay. Who would win in a fight? Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas? You see, Santa Claus and Saint Nicholas are the same person. Now I know what you're thinking. How could they be the same person? Multiple personality disorder. You see, Santa Claus is the jolly old elf that we all love and gives presents to all the little children. Saint Nicholas, on the other hand, is a complete asshole. Saint Nicholas loves to put glass in orphans' food. Oh yes, and every Halloween, when children come up to his door to trick or treat, he punches them in the face. And sodomizes them. It's like this. It's like a bratwurst through a Cheerio. You don't want to know what he does to the reindeer. Let's move on to the next question. Was Jesus Christ circumcised? Well, the answer to that is no. No, he didn't have a penis. He didn't? Oh, of course not. Would God have a penis? He wouldn't have a vagina either. You know what he has? Something called a breno. It's a type of genitalia that is neither penis nor vagina. And if you ever get your penis inside of it, you can neither go to heaven nor hell. If my mom had sex with a snowman, would the half-human, half-snowman baby melt in her womb before it could be born? Actually, it would melt, but not for heat reasons. No, it melts for the wrath of God. You see, this half-snowman baby hybrid is an abomination unto our Lord, and it must be smitten. Now, I know what you're thinking. Smitten? Isn't that an anagram of mittens? Yes, it is! to abominations. Isn't it just like life? You can't talk for 10 minutes without talking about abominations. Right? I SAID RIGHT! Yes! Where was I again? The abomination. Thank you. You've been good. Yes. Lost my train of thought. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus under the mistletoe last night. How should I punish that filthy cheating whore? Well, you punished her already by being born. But if you want another more delicious method, I know several you can choose from. You can hang her by her wrists over a bottle of bleach, then force feed her gallons upon gallons of water until she has to piss. Now the thing about hanging her over a bottle of bleach is that bleach has chlorine in it. And her piss has, what was it, arsenic or was it? It wasn't arsenic, it was, uh, ammonia. There we go. Now, when the ammonia mixes with the chlorine, it produces a special kind of gas, known in World War I as mustard gas. So, while she's debating with herself whether or not she should let herself go and have a very, very painful death, her bladder will swell, and with the hours spent in this unbearable torture, she will know the nadir of your pain! PAIN! Do you hear what I hear? Do you see what I see? Do you know what I know? 
Back in medieval times, they would place a cage of rats over the victim's stomach, then place a hot rock on top of the cage. In order for the rats to escape, they must burrow through the victim's stomach and out the anus. I'm sorry, this really doesn't answer your question, but uh, that last question got me to thinking. What the fuck are you looking at? How can Santa deliver his gifts to me when I don't have a chimney? Do you want to answer this question? You sure? All right, then. He harnesses the power of aborted babies. Oh, God! He apparently is already doing your mom. So what do you have to worry about a chimney? And let me tell you something. Once Santa Claus has his candy cane in your mother's stocking, the frosting has never been sweeter. Sweet Jesus. I'm afraid to ask this one. Ask it! Okay, okay. Why do Jewish people get eight presents on Hanukkah? Because those filthy Jew bastards are ruining the economy. You see, the Jews planned 9-11. When 9-11 happened, they plundered the vault underneath the World Trade Center. And they grabbed all the gold in the vault with their little Jew hands. Just like in Die Hard, my favorite Christmas movie. There is no escape. How do- oh god. <sighs> How do snowmen have sex? You don't want to see this! Click on something else! Well, let me explain. See, when a snowman loves a snowwoman, or snow whore, very, very much, he lays on top of her. Now, making the logical connection here, if a snowman has a carrot for a nose, that's right, a rutabaga. So what does the woman have for genitalia, you may ask? A piece of split open coal because all women are black inside. Call 911! What, what happens if you eat yellow snow? Now, I cannot tell you how many times I've been asked this question, and I'm here to set the record straight. It's just an old wives' tale that a fairy will come visit you and pay you in blowjobs. That doesn't happen, believe me. What does happen is you feel sick inside because you just ate piss. And then St. Nicholas comes! On you! Let me demonstrate on that guy! What? No! 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 It's all I take this stupid question until you ask it! Oh god, put that away! Ew!